Hi, I'm Roger Carr, sales and leasing consultant with uh, Toyota and Scion of Kirkland, down here at the uh, Redmond Town Center, where uh, Toyota has brought out the uh, new members of the Prius family. We've got the plug-in hybrid over here, as well as the new Prius V. So I'm going to get some uh, footage here and uh, take a couple pictures inside and out so that you can get a little bit more information before these uh, vehicles are available. Okay, so this would be the uh, plug-in hybrid model and uh, obviously externally not a whole lot different from the current Prius aside from the uh, charging port here that will run off of your uh, standard electric outlet. Uh, it will give you a 13 mile range, all electric is what it's, they're saying, uh, at 60 miles per hour. So if you're traveling a little bit slower than that, you'll actually be able to get uh, a little bit better mileage. Uh, took a look inside, this one obviously is not quite going to be the production model because it's got the uh, older generation navigation system, but they did some neat uh, two-tone accents in it. But again, inside and out, pretty much identical. Only thing I'm finding too is that in the uh, trunk area, they've got it filled up with shirts right now, but the normal storage that's uh, underneath back here is uh, eliminated. You can see it actually sits up a little bit higher than the current model as well. So uh, you lose a little bit of space, but uh, gain it definitely in uh, mileage, and you'll be able to run all electric on those short trips. Okay, and uh, over here we have the uh, Prius V, which is uh, more of a wagon-like version of the hybrid. It's going to have uh, about 50% more cargo space, obviously a little bit bigger and heavier, but it only loses about 10 miles per gallon, so we're getting figures of about 40 miles per gallon uh, on the uh, fuel economy rating here. Interior setup quite a bit differently from the uh, standard Prius. Nice open space there for... Uh, handbags or purses. The uh, center console pops open sideways like this. Nice deep storage there, cup holder. Gonna have your three drive modes as well, the Evo or EV, Eco and uh, Power. And then you can see the uh, center dash is different than the standard Prius as well. Got uh, This one's got the navigation system. Unfortunately, I guess it does not have the end tune in it, so I don't get to play around with that today. I was hoping that I might have a chance, but not so much. Take a look here. I'll move on to the uh, back seat. So, a lot more room across, it looks like fit three people back here quite comfortably, lots of headroom. The uh, seats fold flat and then they've got some plastic backing here so you can uh, slide things in and uh, not worry about damaging upholstery. And then on top of that we've also got recline which as you can see they sit back quite a ways so on a longer trip you'll be able to get pretty comfortable. And then the seats themselves are also on a slider, so if you need more room in the back, you've got it. You can actually stow some things back here. And then, of course, the big deal is going to be the cargo space. Pop the rear hatch. Like I said, much more of a wagon interior, so you've got a uh, higher roof line. Be able to fit quite a bit of stuff back here, be it luggage for travel or anything like that. We've got a power outlet back here and then it uh, does have a little bit of storage underneath. Fit the tonneau cover. It's actually supposed to come with a car cover as well. 
that's uh, under a little bit further back there. that up now. Stows right there. That's pretty nifty. And then as with a lot of the Toyota vehicles to the uh, back seats on a 60-40 split so you run each side a little bit independent of each other. Center armrest back here it sits up a little higher, which I like to have my arm up a little bit higher, not so low where you don't really use it. And what do we got? Cup holders, very important in a uh, family vehicle, of course. Water bottle holders in the door. All the windows are auto. And uh, then you can see the uh, front from the passenger side. And again, we got a dual glove box set up, pretty big, lots of room for catching all your junk. But uh, that's what she looks like. It's very comfortable to sit in. Good uh, bolstering on the side seats here and everything. It's really, really seems like it would be a very comfortable vehicle to drive around in. Unfortunately, they're not letting us drive either of them either. I guess the uh, Toyota reps are telling me they haven't even been allowed to drive them. They just go from here right onto a trailer and then on to the next destination. So I'll give you a little uh, walk around here so you can see it a little bit more. I do like this front end, a little more redesigned uh, than the standard Prius. Looks a little bit more aggressive too. It's pretty cool. Okay.